Hi, my name is Evan Ollinger, and I'm interning at the Naval History and Heritage Command of the Underwater Archaeology Branch here at the Washington Navy Yard in D.C. So the project I'm currently working on, um, I'm creating a web page that's going to go on the website that details a ship called Royal Savage. And Royal Savage was actually a British schooner during the Revolutionary War that was captured by the Colonials. And right here are the timbers some of the timbers that are that we have from that ship. So before he switched sides to the British, Benedict Arnold was actually the one that commandeered uh, Royal, Sa Royal Savage. And during the Battle of Valcour Bay in 1776, Royal Savage was burned and sunk by the British. And it remained there for 158 years. So eventually, after 158 years, in 1934, a man named Lorenzo Hag Hagelin would be the one to raise the, the ship. And during that process, he took really extensive notes. Um, he made drawings of the ship. And during the conservation process, uh, paper tags were found and brass tags were found all over the, all over the timbers, like this one right there. And those, those correspond with um, the different drawings that we have and um, the notes that Haglin took during that process and that's what um, UAB is using to reconstruct uh, Royal Savage today. So in 2013 uh, Royal Savage was put under the care of the US Navy and at that time is when the preservation process was began by the NWHC and UAB. So since then, um, timbers have been digitally recorded and hand-drawn by members of the UAB. And that's in order to prepare the, the ship for eventual reassembly and reconstruction.